So I'd like to ask you if you think that customers will adopt the AI driven assistance rather than human service in the future. Well, um, I think you're touching on a point which uh, Victor made in his um, input just a couple of minutes ago. And your question is not only about artificial intelligence, Fotis, your question is really about the adoption of technology. So the answer must focus on changing behaviors, changing culture. I think the future of most work processes that we know will be a mix of artificial intelligence and human collaboration. So AI won't replace entire um, roles, entire jobs, but it will increasingly automate more and more tasks within those traditional roles. What I tend to find is that customers will only adopt artificial intelligence or general technology advancement if there are key drivers, if there are key direct benefits. And perhaps I'll share a story here, Fotis, of a, um, an article that Forbes uh, wrote about us at Ebo. Uh, they researched the UK um, market and found that in the public healthcare sector in which we operate, three quarters, that's 76% of the British population, was more than happy to interact with an artificial intelligence tool, a virtual agent, rather than a human agent. And what I find spectacular about this research piece is that it's demonstrating that inflection point, right? That moment where there is a shift in culture, where we're starting to understand that convenience and speed, and clearly we live in a society of instant gratification, right? where things move faster and faster, that these are paramount considerations in the way we do business. So AI is more relevant where it can directly improve the service. So if AI can interpret the intent behind your request for food or for a fintech service, if it can be quicker and more efficient to serve and to fulfill rather than a human agent, then it will always be the default selection. So for most queries that we see in general customer service across most of the industries, AI actually can provide that. So to conclude, Fotis, I'll say we need to be very careful at understanding what are the business and societal drivers for adoption, for the change of culture, for nudging the behavior, right? And in my view, those are three the availability of the tool. So when you have an AI product, which is available 24 seven, it's instant with no queue, with higher level of accuracy, that level of availability creates a driver, creates a lever. The second one is convenience. The facility with which a citizen can adopt that particular tool. In our case, in the healthcare space, we are enabling patients to interact with their hospitals through very convenient messaging apps like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, and so on, which is an entire culture shift from you know, waiting in a queue for four hours or a telephone queue for one hour, or even worse, trying to find a fax machine from which to interact. And the third lever and the third driver over here, Fotis, is customer experience. I believe there is a huge differentiator, especially in the FinTech space, for companies to become better at leveraging those digital touch points with the customer, making it faster, more convenient, and ultimately more fun.